I'm Emma and you're watching um, Our Baby Way and this is Udrid and this is his two month video. Now I've sort of dropped the ball on this and he is almost three months now. So you're gonna see him looking similar during the two month and three month video. Um, but I had been recording in my journal the way he's been developing and stuff so I can also talk about that. Um, so at um, five weeks old he started sucking his thumb um, his left thumb only, his left hand. He t tends to favor the left. Um, and yeah, so at five weeks that happened. And he would just do it when he was starting to get hungry so I could tell and I could feed him. Or after he had just eaten. Oh, do you see yourself in the camera? That's exciting. Or after he had just eaten um, and was like maybe trying to go back to sleep after he dozed off or something. He would suck his thumb just for a minute or two and go back to sleep again um, after he had fallen asleep after nursing. Um, also too, I noticed he'll suck his thumb pretty intensely and kind of make grunting noises. Who's that? When he is trying to take a poop. Um, and so he stopped pooping every day around, around five weeks. He stopped pooping every day and started pooping like every two or three days. And they were huge explosion poops. And they like, sometimes we'd have to take him and hold him in the shower and like shower with him and rinse him off and stuff. And I think the poops were scaring him. Maybe hurting him a little bit, so because he would holler during and after. But they weren't hard. They were, it wasn't constipated. It was just gooey poops. So he was still fine. And the pediatrician said it can be uh, okay for them to wait even a week. Because apparently as they get older, they get better at uh, absorbing all the stuff in breast milk. So there's less waste, which would be the poop. This is fun, isn't it? Oh, okay. Um, he also recently, I had discovered, really likes technology. <laughs> annoying he's like really into the iPad or the phone and so I have to like hide it behind me when I'm using it because I don't want him staring at it all the time because he just immediately stares at it and that's why I think he's into this right now is he's staring at it and he's like he's so into it you're so into it okay um so he loves being outside um still he like is never upset when he's outside um he loves the animal sounds loves the turkeys Loves all the noises, like noises don't bother him unless the dog barks super shrill and loud, like shockingly out of nowhere, he'll get startled. Um, but otherwise, normal barking, normal sounds, no. Um, he almost always likes diaper changes because I know some babies don't. Like even when it's chilly, they, even when the air is chilly, like today it was chilly, like you can see he's cold, but he's just like, woohoo, he doesn't care. He's like hanging out, smiling, wiggling around. Um, so he started smiling with intention, like at people at around five and a half weeks and was doing it at me, especially because I'm around him all the time. Um, and that was usually only in the morning because in the morning he'll wake up and like talk to himself and think for a little while for like 30 minutes and look around in his crib and like, woohoo. And then he'll start to go, oh, okay, I'm hungry. But during that first time period, he's really smiling and really excited to see you and it's fun. Um, and so also around five and a half weeks, he started sleeping four to six hours at a time. Um, like at night for the first stretch of time. So going to bed, you know, between 9 and 11 and then sleeping four to six hours, waking up, going for another couple hours, waking up, going for another couple hours. Um, and at seven weeks, he started um, smiling at me like almost every time he sees me, like all the time in a really excited way and started smiling more at dad and like grandparents that had visited and things like that. Um he also like finds his hand, like he knows to find his hand. He doesn't just accidentally stumble upon his hand. Um, so he'll look for his hand um, and he'll just suck on it for fun when he's hungry, that kind of thing. Um, and but and there's a, there's a different way that he does it, the different way that he sucks on his hand, you know, when he's hungry and when he's about to poop and when he's just trying to go back to sleep a little bit. There's a lot of, you know, intensity when he's hungry and you're like, okay, well, let's eat instead of suck on your hand. Um, and then... Let's see. Oh, one night around like seven weeks, he slept seven and a half hours straight. I think it was after we were out all day doing things. And I was like, I woke up and I was like, oh my God, is he okay? And I checked on him. He was just fine. He was just still sleeping. Um, so at seven weeks, he weighed 12 pounds, five ounces uh, naked. <laughs> and um, he also, at starting at around seven weeks, needed so much less support like in his neck and his back, um, like when I'm holding him. Still more back support, but like, uh, like his neck was doing like really good and I felt like I could give him more chances to move it around. Now you can tell he's really good at it because we're way past seven weeks. Um, so I'm kind of cheating and giving you the, the hint, the look ahead at what he'll be like for the three weeks, uh, the three month update too. Um, 
So also his eyelashes have changed. Like they used to be like mine, like half dark, like at the roots and then blonde out at the tip. And they, around seven weeks, they got all dark, uh, which is nice because Jason's are like that and they're long and pretty and curly. And so hopefully he'll keep them because they're so handsome. Um, and his eyes are, have become less gray. This is around seven weeks. This really started happening. Um, less gray and more blue, especially like around the pupil area. Like when the sun is sunny and his pupils are really dilated, you can see a lot more like light blue, almost white color in his iris and then bluer in the middle and like gray blue on the outside. So it keeps changing. And so I kind of think he's going to be a blue eyed kid. I mean, it could keep changing still, but I don't know. Um, let's see. He loves stroller rides. He'll like, we have a stroller that uh, the car seat can click into. So he'll, um, he loves those. He'll ride around the yard with those and that's fun. And I'm really excited for when he can sit up and be able to ride in the seats that sit up. Cause I think he's going to love that even more. He can see more of what's coming at him instead of just looking up at the trees, you know? Um, so, and then right at two months, which is what this update is supposed to completely be, he started smiling, um, like almost all the time, like at me, at other people, at strangers, like at the farmer's market, um, unless he doesn't like it when people come like really get up in his face kind of close or come from the side and shock him and come close and like say, Hey, and like stare at him if he doesn't know them. He, he kind of cries then and he doesn't like sunglasses so much. Uh, he doesn't smile at me when I'm wearing my sunglasses. He's like, who are you, you alien person? Are you mom or are you alien? <laughs> um, he's also laughed a few times um, and I'm starting to realize that his like, he sort of does an excited squeal and that's a laugh uh, to a certain degree. But he's kind of, he's gone like, ha ha, in his sleep one time. It was really funny. Um, so... He almost holds, at two months, he almost held his own back, like, up and straight. Um, when you, like, hold him under your butt to carry him and he's facing you, he can hold his own back up really well. So you just keep your hand close behind, but you don't have to, like, hold it up so he doesn't cave in. He's got a lot of good muscular strength. At his two-month checkup, the pediatrician was, like, shocked and surprised by how strong he was when she put him on his stomach. Um, and he's been that strong, like, all along. He's just been increasingly stronger. Because he could do that stomach, lift up his head and chest when he was two weeks old. But she said she thought maybe he'd be an early walker because of that, you know, maybe. Um, but she said he had really, really good muscle tone. Um, and uh, he's starting to move his fingers separately. Like before it was just like in chunks. Like I think you can see he's starting to do this with his fingers, which is, I still just think neurological. It's not like he's intentionally doing that. He's just neurologically now developed enough to be able to move his individual things. But it's fun to see because sometimes it looks like he's like doing like, hmm, like, thinking kind of stuff it's really fun um and yeah so it sucks his thumb mostly just when he's hungry uh or when he's trying to take a poop or to go back to sleep um and let's see yeah okay so also his hair is getting really long i don't know if you can see um it's like oh turn your face turn turn around turn your head i'm gonna do it on this side it's getting really long. It's like out to there, but it's only where it's staying because you can also see that he's starting to go bald. <laughs> Pretty funny. And he looks even sillier than he did when he was younger. It cracks me up. So he's starting to go bald in the back. That's from rubbing his head in the crib, but then he's also starting to go bald on the top of his head. He's losing hair. Ooh, look. Oh, Ooh. he's losing a, okay. Well, that was a bad zoom in, but he's losing hair up here too and it's pretty hilarious um so i don't know if it'll come back in the same kind of brownish color or if it'll come back in different um and he's still got really strong legs like right now he's mostly standing up with putting some weight on his butt on my leg like he really likes to stand up and he always stands up in the body carrier and you're like oh I'll sit down so he's trying to arch his back and dive out um so it'll be nice when he's big enough to put his butt in the carrier and have his legs hang out instead of put his legs in because then he can't push if his legs are hanging out that, that'll be nice but he's getting better at riding in the carrier too. Um, and he babbles a lot and talks a lot to us. It's really fun. Um, he says things that sound like words like, oh, hey. He'll say like, uh, so it sounds like eggs and owls, like owls, eggs. You know, it's pretty funny. Um, and he's also started drooling a lot more when he, I noticed, when he started babbling more. I think because he's more aware of his mouth, his mouth's doing new things. He does, still just barely spits up. He's not much of a spitter-upper. Um, and he isn't gassy or bubbly at, when we sleep at night. He just is uh, after nursing during the day. And especially, like, in the late afternoon, he gets a little extra bleh, bubbly. 
but he doesn't spit out like almost ever. Woo! <laughs> Stay here. Um, and now he's doing some spit bubbles. He kind of does that when he's got his mouth closed together and thinking and stuff. It's pretty funny. Um, and when he does talk to us, when he like, not just babbles like he's doing now, but when he like really talks, he goes like, blah, woo, blah, 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 like that for five straight minutes or something. He sounds so, it's very urgent sounding. It doesn't sound like jovial, like do, do, do. Um, it sounds like, wah, blah, blah, like he makes a really concerned face. Like he's got this important news to tell us that's like, you know, <laughs> Hold the phone. We must get this news spread. It's really funny. Um, so that's kind of his two-week update. Um, he, he's, I love him. He's wonderful. Um, every day, he just, it gets more and more exciting. I can start, I can tell he's starting to get a little, like, a little uh, panty and <laughs> snorty, which means he's going to want to eat in a minute. But he's just so handsome, and he's so big, and he's just so strong and smart, and he's already way more impressive than I ever have been as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with Jason. Uh, we love him so much. It's so great. So this is Uhtred's two-month update. And I'm glad that he felt like he wanted to join and smile at the camera. Um, and we'll see you soon for the three-month update because, you know, I told you I dropped the ball on this one. So thanks so much for watching Our Baby Way. And I'll see you again for three months. Okay, bye. Bye, Uhtred.